Back in 2006, when I started my cleaning business, the first cleaning cloth that I started using was a sad old recycled rag. It came from a janitorial supply company in like a giant plastic bag. You would just rip out a few rags and take them to your cleaning and they were terrible. So I went back to the janitorial supply company and they said, you gotta get me something better. And they said, well, if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, try this professional grade microfiber and see what you think. That was it. That was the day the game changed. Microfiber made my job so much easier. I got way better results in half the time that those regular cleaning rags took me to do an average cleaning. And that is why I am such a fan of microfiber to this day, but not any microfiber, premium grade professional quality microfiber. And this is why we started Makers Clean in the first place, because I couldn't find such good quality microfiber on the consumer market. So we did just that. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you 27 different ways that you can clean with microfiber. It's not just for dusting, it's for just about any cleaning task you can come across at home that doesn't require scrubbing. Okay, let's get into it. If you're doing a maintenance clean on your tub, so there's not a ton of soap scum, but you just wanna give it a nice wipe down, spray it with an all-purpose cleaner or a tub and tile cleaner, but instead of getting out your sponge, just wipe it with an all-purpose microfiber cloth. To get that professional high polish shine on your sink, I'm using our fluffy utility cloth to get rid of all of that moisture and all of those streaks. To get that high polish shine on a mirror, I'm using my glass and electronics cloth folded in quarters. I've sprayed equal parts vinegar and water on the mirror, and I'm working section by section top to bottom using the S pattern. No streaks, no marks. To clean the exterior of a cupboard, I'm just using an all-purpose cleaner here. I've got a general purpose microfiber cloth that I've folded in half and I'm using a simple S pattern. Gets all of the marks away without ruining the finish. To dry a copious amount of dishes after cooking or a meal, I'm using a waffle weave microfiber cloth. These are super absorbent, very large, and they dry quickly. Once you finish cleaning your shower, you know you've got quite a job ahead of you for drying, and that is where a large utility microfiber cloth really comes in handy. I take mine, I put both hands on there and just work my way from top to bottom to achieve that streak-free shine. Another great use for microfiber, and here I'm just using a, a general purpose microfiber cloth, is to clean baseboards. They help to lift up dust, but they don't leave any dust or marks behind. A perfect companion for cleaning your washing machine is a microfiber cloth. Cleaning the drum is so much easier, especially with a large one like this. And then after the gasket has been scrubbed, I use a microfiber cloth to dry inside the gasket. Very important to avoid that moldy buildup. And of course, I'm using it to clean the door. This surprised me. I actually cleaned the interior of an oven with the microfiber cloth. And it just goes to show that when you use a good quality product and you let it sit for a while, microfiber can do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. Anyone who's cleaned a car before knows how amazing microfiber is for this job. It really helps to remove all of the dust, dead skin cells, all those little things you see left behind. You can use a general purpose cloth for your dash and a flat weave for your windows. How do you get fingerprints off of stainless steel? You clean it with vinegar and a microfiber cloth. Nothing further, my friends, it's that easy. To get your glasses perfectly clean, spritz some glasses cleaner on there, get yourself a flat weave microfiber cloth and clean each lens. A flat weave cloth means you won't see any scratches or marks left behind.
For a sad looking cooktop, here I am spraying on an enzyme cleaner, giving it about five or 10 minutes to sit, and I'm using a microfiber cloth to wipe it down. I know this might sound surprising, because generally you would think this needs a lot of scrubbing, but with the right products, tools, and techniques, you can do it. This truly is the way that I have cleaned my bathroom floor for years. I take the microfiber cloths that I use to clean my counters and sinks, and by hand, I wipe the floors. I use two general purpose microfiber cloths to do this and I catch the baseboards on the way as well. Of course, microfiber cloths are great for dusting and you generally want to use them dry. That way you're not gluing any of the dust to a surface with a product. If you wanna wipe the surface with a product, you can dust first, wipe second. If you have any scuff marks on a painted surface, you can spray your microfiber cloth with a little bit of water or all-purpose cleaner and sprinkle on a tiny bit of baking soda. Test in a hidden area first, then scrub and wipe off. To clean a TV screen, I don't recommend using any product. Rather, just take a flat weave microfiber cloth and wipe from top to bottom using the S pattern. If there's a difficult fingerprint, you can put a little bit of water on the cloth and work from there. For granite countertops, and any countertop actually, a microfiber cloth is your perfect cleaning companion. Spray on whatever cleaning product is appropriate for the surface and use the S pattern to get your counter nice and clean. A microfiber cloth is a perfect cleaning tool for a microwave. You can simply spray it with whatever product you're using and give it a wipe. Microfiber is also safe to use on leather. You can use it dry, or you can add a little bit of leather cleaner to your microfiber cloth before giving your sofa or other leather furniture a cleaning. Once you've removed everything from your fridge, grab a microfiber cloth. It is the perfect tool to use to get rid of all of that crusty buildup. I'm using an all-purpose cleaner here, and the large cloth really lets me cover a lot of area with the least amount of effort, and I get great results. For sad looking cutlery, get some vinegar and soak your cutlery in that vinegar. Then get a microfiber cloth dipped in vinegar and wipe your cutlery down. I used to do this when I worked at a steakhouse to get our steak knives clean and it worked like a charm. You've got to try it. And this is the perfect demonstration for why a large utility cloth is awesome. To clean glass, whether it's in your kitchen or anywhere else in your home, you can spray glass cleaner onto the surface and use a flat weave microfiber cloth from top to bottom just to get rid of any streaks or marks. To polish your faucets, you can spray it with an appropriate cleaner and use a microfiber cloth to quickly buff everything clean and dry. If you're looking for a chemical free version of cleaning, you can consider just bringing a microfiber cloth and water into your baby's room and cleaning the various things in there. Small appliance cleaning is so much easier when you have a flexible, large and plush microfiber cloth that can get into all of the nooks and crannies and get things clean and then get them dry. And I'm very pleased to announce that Maker's Clean is finally back in stock. We had a bit of a shipping issue. You might have heard about the global shipping crisis over the past few months, but we are now fully back in stock. And we have three new colors that you'll see peppered among our various packs. First up, we've got this gorgeous light purple that we have called Amethyst. Next, this medium pinky purple magenta shade that we've appropriately called Orchid, and this lovely shade that reminds me of Kate Middleton's engagement ring, which we have aptly called Sapphire. So you can find all of those over at the Makers Clean website, and I will have a link for you down below as well. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, do you clean with microfiber? Do you like using it? What kind of microfiber cleaning tips do you have? or and or do you have any microfiber questions let me know in the comments down below if you're curious about how to clean your microfiber properly you can check out our microfiber cleaning video right over here if you haven't done so already make sure that you subscribe to the clean my space channel thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time